Video number 86. Let's get things started. In the last episode, I opened up all the clue scrolls that are received from the Dragon Pickaxe grind, but the job's not finished. I've still got 85 Dark Totems to cash in. I'd like to quickly hint that later in this video, I plan on beginning both the Corp and the Gauntlet grinds, but I'll discuss those plans later on in the video, and for now, let's just focus on getting back to some Skatizo. One thing I'm going to do before cashing in all 85 of these totems is to set aside like 20 minutes or so to make a couple of gear layouts. There's a couple plugins available in Runelight that I highly recommend that I wish I had taken advantage of earlier. Like for instance, this is my solar raid tab that I made a couple weeks back and it makes it so much easier to gear. So it would make sense to make a couple more of these for uh, clue scrolls as well as Katizo because there's going to be a lot of jumping back and forth and this is going to save me a lot of time in the long run. I think that'll do nicely. It looks like I'm prepped and ready to go. This is why these gear tabs are so good by the way. You you just equip the items that you want to wear by shift clicking from the bank which is a nice handy trick and then you just literally just go like this and you're geared and I got one for Skatizo as well so this is gonna save so much time I cannot stress enough how important this plugin is my favorite tab is still the raids one though because I think it has something to do with it filling up the entire inventory I just love how everything just aligns to the perfect spot it's just so nice in 10 seconds I'm prepped and ready to do a solo. The collection log is going to start out at 3 out of 6 items obtained, and fascinatingly enough, the thing that I'm most likely to get statistically is the pet, because this is I think 1 out of 60, this is 200, and this is 1 out of 128. Also I did take the liberty of getting myself a greater demon task, so that should help things significantly. First KC, and we get a combat task, which isn't too much of a surprise. Wait, I just remembered, I need to fix my muscle memory. Don't go to the jewelry box to teleport to Drainer. Use the diary cape. Gotta start using this thing. It doesn't take me right up to the clue spot, but it does bypass having to go to the POH, so in the long run, I think that will save me time. Okay, another example. Don't teleport to Edgeville using the glory. Teleport using the cape. Again, it doesn't take me quite as close to the spot as using a glory, but not having to go to the POH, I think we'll cancel that out. Now, I'm kind of conflicted on whether or not I should open one at a time or stack them up. Last episode, I stacked them, so maybe this time I'll just open them one at a time. Let's do it. Oh man, is that like the third Gothic's body I've received? I think it is. I've gotten this item quite a few times. 50 KC? What does that mean? Medium combat task, demonic weakening. Oh, so I just got lucky and none of the altars activated. Makes sense. What do I have left? Any damage? To do that, I think I need to use range. Uh, without equipping a demon bane weapon. Oh, that's pretty easy. And the final one is a chinchampa. I may as well do that one, that one's super easy. Uh, that's like the easiest master combat task of all time. Did I actually get it though? No? How did that not count? Do I have to hit the minion? Oh, maybe that's it. Well, one more should do it, or maybe two more, or three more, or four more. <laughs> all right, yeah, that's how you do it. You have to hit the minion instead of the actual boss. There's the first elite clue. Got it done, what's in store for us today? A master clue. 60 KC? Ah, shoot, I didn't have the recorder on, I thought I did, but we just got the pet. No surprises there. It did come a little bit earlier than I expected. It only took like, what was that, like a dozen totems or so? So there's a pretty good chance I might get some duplicates. Uh, that is the 11th pet, by the way, so yeah, we'll take that. Probably will never use him and he'll go straight to the POH, but a worthy addition to the collection. And straight into the POH he goes to wander around aimlessly with all the other pets. Oh, that's quite a clue. Unfortunately, they are duplicates. Cannot escape these wilderness steps. This is three out of three for this three step clue. So that's probably not happening. Uh, yeah, I'm like 0 for five now on these master clues. And to add insult to injury, I keep getting to like five or six steps before I have to drop them. So not having a good time with these. Also, the hard clue completion rate is quite low as well, so collectively the clues have not been going well. <laughs> hey, complaining works, we finally completed a clue. Ah, a hard and an elite clue from that Skatizo kill. The hard's going to give us absolutely nothing, and the elite's going to give us yet another kit. What's new? <laughs> I'm the kit master. I, I get nothing but kits. But yeah, this is the kit situation. It's kind of strange why I get so many of these. 70 KC? Quite a lot of stuff right here. Dark Claw, Elite Clue. Oh, there we go. Dragon Boots Ornament Kit. Another kit. We are the master of the kits. We are a connoisseur of kits. We cannot stop getting these. Eventually, I will have every kit in the game. 
I'm definitely on pace. Now what about the Elite? Oof, yeah. Value-wise, it's nothing like too terrible, but visually that is one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Oh, I just missed it, but there's 80 kill count. Oh, back to back. Man, look at all the all the money we're getting. Not that I will be using these anytime soon, but it's cool to collect the Onyx Bolts and add to the bank value. I didn't know you could get Death Runes. Oh, I could have been getting these this whole time. Oh, that's my new favorite drop. Are they rare or something, or have I just been kind of unlucky not to get them? I haven't looked at Skatizo's drop table in terms of supplies. Had to drop like nine of these in a row, but we finally completed a hard clue scroll, so it better be worth it. Oh, yes, we got the death runes again. Legitimately just the best drop you could get. It's such a good quantity. I thought it would have dropped like maybe 150 or 200. 500 is so generous. Yes, I did it. We finally brute forced the last combat task. Did a whole Skatizo kill with not taking damage. And it turns out the uh, demons don't matter. I was kind of worried that I would get it and then the demon would bot me after the boss dies. But I guess you just get it instantly as soon as... You do the last hit on Skatizo. We did another one. Be better than the last one, please. Yes! Ancient Dehyde body. Let's go. And a master clue. Let's see what we got here. Captain Bruce. Who the heck is that? 90 KC. Oh! Is that a double? Yes, it's a double! Oh, man. We pulled the double. Unique. That's nice to see after so many clues dropped. And they're really good ones, too. Both pieces of Dehyde. Oh, I'm happy about that. That's really good. Number 100. That's quite a big one. What do we get? Oh, we got some... Oh, we got an extra clue. Nice. Always good when you get an elite. I interrupt the Skatizo grind to bring you 25 million Herblore XP. That looks quite clean. And while I'm at it, you know what? Dag with it. Let's do a skilling break. Level number one, 93 agility. Oh, I can do something new. Uh, that looks somewhat useless. Level number two, 98 fletching, the penultimate level of this skill. Third level, 99 crafting. And that's probably going to be the last one for me, 93 fire making. Probably a long shot to get anything, but I do have seven crates. Let's see what we get. Any useful resources at least. Ooh, 11 trout. Incredible. Yikes. At least they're Renars. Back to Skatizo and got a clue. Anything? Oh, wait. Did I just get that? Was that one of the pieces I got recently? Oh, I'm not sure. Man, that took a long time. Finally got the first master during this grind. And since I've only hit the first master and I'm more than 50% of the way through the totems, I don't think there's any point in stacking them. If I were to stack them, I might be lucky to get like a stack of two. So I'm just gonna open them as I get them. Ooh, there we go. A unique. That's uh, unexpected. Certainly better than nothing. Not something I can ever see myself using, but that's the first hood I've ever gotten from a master clue. I think this was designed to match the smithing skill cape. Yeah, look at that. It does kind of match. I guess that would make sense because Lovican just kind of like smithing oriented. That's sort of the base theme. Another set of clues. Second time this has happened. Let's open the elite first this time. Not too great. And for the hard, oof. Man, I just can't get uniques. Other than the master, I haven't had too much luck. Dark Claw number three. This is something you'll love to see. Just have the clue step to kill an Abbey spec into the Slayer Tower emote clue step. <laughs> That's uh, the definition of convenience right there. I also got a Renar from the Abbey spec, so could this day get any better? I don't think so. I stand corrected. It can get better. <laughs> I just got my next elite step, and it's like eight tiles away from my hard clue step, so I guess this warrants going into the Wildy. Oh, man. Keep getting the duplicate uh, ancient dehyde pieces, but eh, it's a pretty cool looking one. Dark Claw number four. Oh, another glory. <laughs> Interesting. Didn't think I'd get a second one of those. Well, that's a new all time low for me. 13.4k, <laughs> let's go. I did indeed get a second master clue. Last time we got lucky. Surely we can't get back to back. That's too much to ask for. Aw. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to jinx it in my favor, but that didn't work. And just like that, we are down to the final totem. One final hit, and that is a wrap. The final KC is going to be 131, which solidifies us on the top page for the high scores. And what shall the loot be? Ooh, we did get an elite. That's good. Nice to end off with one of those. So what are my final thoughts in terms of the Skatizo loot? I definitely would not say that I was overwhelmed. 
and I don't think I'd say I was underwhelmed either, so I guess I was whelmed. <laughs> the loot was uh, pretty consistent. I mean, I got the, the pet, unfortunately. We did not get the jar or the full totem. I was hoping to get maybe one of those. And the total collection log slots from that grind looks to be six, unless I'm missing something. I got the pet, then I got the Lovikench hood from the master, and then four hard clue uniques. Maybe missing something, but I think it was plus six. Was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to 600 collection logs. I thought that I was going to make it pretty easily, but... Yeah, I just didn't get the RNG with the uh, log slots from the clues, and uh, yeah, it's not the end of the world. We still got some red numbers to increase in the chat, so at least there's that. 1.5 videos later, the clue scrolls are finally done. The residual effects of the Dragon Pickaxe era on this account are behind me, and it is now time to redirect focus on the next chapter of gear upgrades. First activity on the agenda is to begin the sigil hunt, something I arguably should have started like two years ago because this is a very passive grind that's good to get a move on early, but I missed that window. I procrastinated, and here we are, so I guess there is no time like the present. Let the corp grind commence. Not a whole lot to say in terms of the corp grind. I probably won't have that much to record. I don't think it really produces a ton of footage because it's really pretty basic. I mean, you can just run back and forth between your POH and the cave. You spec the boss, you drown your face in the ornate pool, and you poke the boss with a stick, and you rinse and repeat for years. <laughs> like, that's probably how long it's going to take, so I don't think I'll record too much. I'll, I'll record the first couple of kills just because that's kind of standard. I mean, that's just typical YouTuber things. And then after that, it's just going to be kind of like solar raids, just something I do in the background. Maybe a few kills a day if I can uh, stick with it and find a good routine. Corp kill number one is about to be underway. Here's the gear I've assembled. I might tweak some things as I figure things out. Uh, this is all new to me. I've never killed this boss in my entire life, so I will probably be pretty anxious with the teleports until I get comfortable with the max hits. I'll, I'll probably be teleporting out a lot. I'm not certain how crucial it is to chomp an anglerfish every time I run in. I think for the first few kills, I'll definitely wind up doing this, and then I'll just assess at a later date to see if it's still necessary in the future. Otherwise, it's gonna be really expensive on the anglerfish. I'm gonna be running out of my 12,000 stack in the blink of an eye. I don't like when he's so far back into the room, he has more chances to hit me. Four hammer specs down, got an extra one just for good measure. Now we go on to the 20 arc light specs. Make sure we're on stab, I think that's optimal. And this is probably gonna be the one that takes the longest. 20 is quite a lot. I didn't think about this, but I guess your chance of getting a spec to land increases incrementally as you go about the kill because he's having his defense lowered so hopefully you know once you get to like 10 specs it's pretty difficult to miss and that's 20 now for 200 bgs damage the specs are done let's start poking the boss halberd go Ooh, that's a good start oh there's the court oh gosh what do i do <laughs> all right let's see if we can take him out i want to see if i can do this i think what you do is you spam click the ground oh that didn't work how do you Oh, well, how does that, that doesn't help me. What if I bop him with the Elder Maul? <laughs> one damage. I suppose the Dark Core will survive because I don't know how to kill him when he's right click attack option like that. Maybe that's under corpse settings or something because I don't have that set with other bosses. Perhaps just one more hit. He's dead. What's the first? Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna get some combat achievements. Uh, yeah, that's something that I have to look forward to. The cannonball drop is fantastic. It's like one of the best ones I can get. I'd say I'd prefer to get this drop even over the Onyx Bolts drop, because Onyx Bolts are just money, but cannonballs are genuinely just so useful for me. Overall opinion on the first kill, I think it went really well. I just need to make sure not to underestimate the boss because you can get stacked out pretty easily if you're just unlucky. It's kind of like doing something like Zami or Bandos, you know. Most of the times the kills are pretty smooth, but then every now and then it'll get a good combo on you, so I just gotta watch out for that. Digging around the Runelight plugins, and I'm correct about the Dark Core. Uh, it turns out there is a plugin for Corp, and there's a box checked by default where you can left-click walk on the Core. So I'll have to figure out whether or not I prefer that to be checked or not. Bopping him with the Elder Maul does sound kind of tempting, I'm not gonna lie though. Okay, let's go for another. Whoa! 769 XP drop. Okay, there's the core. So, Elder Maul on. Bop him? No. Bop him. Oh, no, this isn't working. 
Ah, okay, so the reason the Elder Maul's good is that a lot of times I think it does have a good chance of one-shotting it. Obviously there, it just didn't get lucky. Uh, okay, I don't think that worked. I'm pretty sure you need there not to be ashes on the ground. I think my mistake is I didn't run away early enough after I killed him, so he's probably going to respawn. Oh, I did it! Yes! No ashes that time. <laughs> that was a lot of trouble. Probably more trouble than it was worth, but at least I know I can do it now. Oh my gosh! The specs just keep getting higher. <laughs> Corp kill number two. What's it going to be? A hefty chunk of law runes. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, that's why you have to stay on your toes. Good grief. I was anglered up too, so I would have been like 18 HP if I didn't do that. Bop! Yeah, we got him on the first try. Alright, we're getting better at that. How? What? How is that a yellow click? Ooh, there's the first Onyx Bolt drop. Not gonna lie, that kind of made my heart flutter and skip a beat. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck that was. 1.5 mil though, that's a hefty drop. Minor upgrade to the gear, going to be purchasing this Warrior Helm as it gives plus 5 to Slash. So I'll be using this when using the Arclight spec. I guess I'll switch it to a Slash attack now. Ooh, Onyx Bolts for a second time. That's quite lucky, two of them within 12. Ooh, there's a new max hit. Oh look, we got the uh, 25 corp kills done. That's uh, the penultimate combat task that I have. There's not many of them for corp. The only that I have remaining is the 50 kills and then that's it. Ooh, another Onyx Bolt drop. I've had three of these now. Whoa, oh my gosh, what was that? If not the max hit, that's gotta be like really close. A few weeks have now passed and we are about to hit the first Corp KC milestone, 50 KC, and oh yeah, we get a combat task. Funny enough, that's actually the first time I've gotten the Runite Bolts. I think that's one of the last drops I have yet to get, obviously, except for the uniques and things like that, but all the resources I think are accounted for. I've been getting pretty much everything at a pretty even distribution. I've gotten the Onyx Bolt drop three times now, which I'd say is pretty solid for the first 50 KC. Uh, speaking of 50, that's also a registration on the high scores, so that's pretty nice in itself. And uh, it is also the bare minimum KC I was hoping to get this video. I'll probably go for at least like 100 or so. But at this point, I'm going to eventually transition over to starting the Corrupted Gauntlet grind. Maybe not tonight because I've been slacking and I don't have a bond on the main account and I really need to practice before I head there on the hardcore. But uh, yeah, in the next few days, that might be happening. Still have yet to bond up the main account to practice Corrupted Gauntlet, but that does not stop me from doing the regular Gauntlet. This is another good means of practicing for CG, so I see no reason not to start that on the hardcore today. So. With that being said, let's start up some regular gauntlet. Typically, most people skip over regular gauntlet entirely because the drops aren't nearly as good. It's 1 out of 2,000 for an enhanced crystal versus only 1 out of 400 from CG, so it makes a lot of sense to not really bother doing regular gauntlet. But for me personally, I'm not really 100% into it for the drops. I kind of just want the practice and to shake the rust off. So for me, I think this is a good fit. Still don't want to underestimate it, though. It's still dangerous content and you gotta stay on your toes and really be on top of things. And I believe I am ready. I just read over the wiki page to verify the max hits. Obviously far less than the corrupted version, but still something to be mindful of. And I will also be investing the 200 shards per run to buy the one-click teleport crystal. That's a much better alternative than having to right-click on those gates and risk misclicking. Having this runelight plugin enabled that keeps track of your resources is an absolute lifesaver. It would be so much more difficult to keep track of this in my head. And it looks like I am ready for the first fight with the Crystalline Hunliff. I'm excited for this. It has been a long time waiting for this grind to commence, but we are finally here. And I'm curious to see if I can get a perfect Hunliff on my first try. That's a combat achievement uh, that I'm going to get eventually. I'm definitely capable of it, but can I get it on the first try? Let's see how rusty we are. And looks like one more hit's going to do it. I think I've done this perfectly. I think I'm going to get the achievement. Let's see. I don't think I made any mistakes. Hey, nice. First try, and we got it. And the first loot will probably be underwhelming, but I don't know. You never know. It could give me something cool. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty average. You get, like, Rune Halberds and stuff from this place, and then if you did the Corrupted version, you can get, like, Dragon Halberds, and that's always a nice Alk. Uh, but yeah, the first of many Crystal Shards have been collected. That was fun. I quite enjoyed that. It was a little underwhelming. The, uh, Crystalline Hunliff is so much faster to kill than the Corrupted version. It feels like it has, like, a third the HP of the CG version. Uh, but yeah, that, that was nice and chill. I think I'll definitely enjoy doing some more of these. Number two, let's see how much faster this one is. Is it faster? Oh yeah, it's like two minutes faster. Nice. Any more Halberds? Come on, Rune Halberd. Gimme! Ooh, an Elite Clue! Wait, how rare is that? That might be really rare. Oh, it's only one out of 25. Thought it would be more. Uh, another combat task? Whoa! I didn't know you could get Dragon Halberds from here. I thought that was just corrupted. Oh, you can get Dragon Halberds. Okay, that's cool. 10 KC in, and we also just did the No Prayer combat task, which was surprisingly easy. I guess the CG one is a lot more challenging. With the regular gauntlet, you could kill, like, two Hunlifts with the amount of prayer you have. Another combat task done, this time the one with no armor. That one was actually more of a challenge than the No Prayer one. That one you actually have to dial in and really pay attention to conserve your resources, because you can run out of prayer pretty easily. Don't think I've ever seen this before, but look how long it took me to find one single tree. I just wanted... Three pieces of wood, <laughs> and this is how long it took. The entire eastern side of the map, I've never seen it take that long to get a single resource before. And that's going to be 20 KC, I think that's another task. It is, and I think that's also official registration on the high scores as well. And here are the spoils from 20 regular gauntlet, which is, eh, it's pretty decent I'd say. There's another combat task, this time I did the tier 3 armor, that one was super easy. With CG, it gives you less time to do the prep. And I remember on the main account I did that combat task and it took me like, I don't even want to list the number of attempts it took. I just could not get the uh, tier 3 armor in the allotted time that it gives you. But yeah, with regular gauntlet it's super easy. And it's an elite task somehow. And that should be another combat task. Now the only ones that remain are the speed chaser ones, which I probably will never do. I mean, if I got a 529 without even trying to go fast, maybe I could get the master combat achievement. Uh, yeah, let's go see if I can do it. Is that going to be it? That felt pretty fast. Yes, 456. We got it. It did take a few attempts because you do have to get lucky and get a demi boss really early that isn't a bear. And I got six bears in a row. So, yeah, that was kind of expected. But we finally got a dragon. And, yeah, that wasn't too bad. I could probably maybe go for the Grandmaster one day. But that's going to take a ton of RNG. You have to have a perfect layout. My friends, 15 minutes from now, I'm either going to be very happy or very sad because. It is now time to attempt the first kill count of the Corrupted Gauntlet on the Hardcore. I think I'm ready. I did a couple kills on the main and they went pretty well. And I'm also pretty comfortable with the regular Gauntlet on this account. So let's just approach it like ripping a band-aid off and just jump straight into it. On the main account, I got very lucky at this place when I was testing it out about a year ago. At 6kc, I got an armor seed and the luck did not stop there. I also got a enhanced weapon seed at 12kc. So the luck was pretty extraordinary on the main account. I wish I could translate it over to this account, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen based on trends that this account has gone through. I am not very good at getting things under drop rates, especially range related items. Those always seem to get me, so it would be pretty nice to break the curse with this grind, but yeah, well, we don't even know if we're going to make it there. Uh, the plan for this video is to get a bare minimum of 10 kill count, which I think registers me on the high scores. And uh, whether or not I'm comfortable with that will determine how much further I go. But we gotta start somewhere. Let's start with kill count number one. This should objectively be the most dangerous thing I've ever attempted on this account, which is quite anxiety inducing. I have a feeling the heart rate will be quite elevated. I just gotta click it. It's kinda hard to click it, man. The first KC is always the worst. I just gotta get past KC number one. Attempt number one was a fail. That was kinda anticlimactic. I just couldn't get enough food or shards to get the uh, teleport crystal, and I really need to get that. Back we go. This time, can we get a little luckier with resources? It took me a really long time to find, like, the cotton and stuff. I guess I can get the food out of the way. I usually like getting food last, but since it's right here, I suppose I'll just grab this. See, if I can't even tier 2 prep, then how am I going to tier 3 prep? That's the problem that I have. Like, tier 3 prep just isn't consistent enough. I think I could do it, but it would be like a 1 out of 10 chance that I succeed without having to abandon the attempt, and that's just not really efficient enough. I don't think that's worth it. Gotta be really careful not to underestimate these demi-bosses. I think they can two-shot you. A lot of people kind of turn their brains off when they do the prep stage and then they really dial in during the final fight, but on a hardcore, gotta really pay attention to these guys. Where is it? Oh! See, that's what I'm talking about. Holy, I did not expect there to be two demi-bosses next to one another. That's exactly why I kept a piece of food in my inventory. 
And that hit a 47. Sheesh. That was like 20 seconds after I was just going on that spiel about how you shouldn't underestimate these guys. That guy absolutely sniped me. Since I have 73 HP, I'm not going to even bother running around the perimeter just in case that happens again because I don't have any food now. I just need a few more shards. I need 52 more shards and I'm completely done. Wait, that's exactly the number I needed. Oh, that was so lucky. Now I don't have enough for combo food though. Oh no. I'm going to have to really save up. Dang, I really wish I had some combo food right now. All right, in we go. First meeting with the Crystalline Corrupted Huntliff. Yes, we're gonna do it. That's the final hit. Corrupted Gauntlet down. Oh, what a relief. And we got no, oh no, we did get a combat. Uh, oh no, no, that's a uh, collection log. I am so relieved. We got it. We got the collection log. No combat achievements. I think I made... How many mistakes did I make? I got I got hit off prey one time, and I knew it was going to happen. My HP was pretty high, and I chomped on a paddlefish, so I was fine, but that may have been the only mistake I made. Oh, I also got, got hit by the floor once, I think, so two mistakes. So we were two mistakes away from having the perfect CG uh, combat achievement task. Uh, what's going to be the first chest? Five rune full helms, bunch of law runes, and six crystal shards. Still kind of worked up on that whole ordeal because that was quite stressful, but I'm glad to have the first KC under my belt. We have this ugly looking cape with the... Oh, I never noticed I had the eyes there because I understood that these were meant to be like the horns or the antlers of the Huntliff, but I never noticed there's actually kind of like a set of eyes there. Guess it's time for KC numero dos. The prospect of doing 400 of these without dying is very intimidating. I don't know how I'm going to get through that, but just take it one KC at a time, I suppose. I know I got lucky on the main and got it at 12, but I don't think that's going to happen again, so we're probably going to be here for the long haul. Shouldn't be as bad as the corp grind, but I probably will not be leaving this place anytime soon. Goal for KC number two is to get the perfect hun lift. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, see number two. Ooh, man, I was gonna say it's about to happen, but now I'm not so sure. Ooh, dear, this is kind of sketch. Oh, oh, oh no! <gasps> it's over. Oh, what a mistake. Oh man, that's it. That's the hardcore five years. I don't know why I was compelled to do that. Oh, man. Well, the weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Oh, no. I only got to one KZ, man. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, instant death. I just kind of froze. I, I don't know what to say. I have no excuse. I'm just a bad gamer, I guess. Dang. Oh. Huh. Well... That might be it for me for a while on this account. I don't really have a huge motivation to play the game as a uh, Iron Man. I think I will continue after a little bit of a break, but yeah, that was quite a journey. I just got instantly rinsed. My HP was pretty good, too. Oh, well, it is what it is. What kind of measly loot has this got in store for me? 293 fire runes. Oh, no. I just analyzed the clip, and a lot of things went wrong. I was really comfortable with the situation, I thought I was in complete control, but what happened is I accidentally messed up with the prey flex, and that's the thing that will get you. You are so fixated on the uh, floor tiles and the tornadoes that if you miss one prey flick, that's it, and that's what happened. I missed a prey flick. I didn't notice. I took a 45, which was somewhat unlucky, but it is what it is. You know, you can't really expect to tank those. And then I was one tick too late on trying to get my prayer back on and I stood still for long enough for the crystals to all stack me right as the auto attack hit me for like another 45 so honestly kind of unlucky like the you know you'd hope that you could maybe get lucky and like tank a little bit and not take two 45s in a row but yeah that's it I, I wish that I could have gotten more than one KC I felt so confident there KC number one I was a little bit shaky that KC I felt really good. It was just kind of, uh, I guess the stars aligned for me to die on that KC number two. And that's what happened. All right, let's do the walk of shame up to the nearest bank chest to assemble the final inventory. I guess this is what the final inventory will look like 
couldn't think of anything else to put here other than my collection of frog tokens. I wouldn't, I didn't have inventory for that, but this is it. The final screenshot is complete with a couple other miscellaneous items in the bank that I couldn't fit in the inventory. Naturally, after five years leading up to a death, we're going to go back and do more CG because I was having fun with that. So we're going to do some more. We got a revenge. Now we're going to get rewarded surely. Ooh, I got something. That's not the perfect one. Oh, that's when you don't take a auto attack. And I definitely took an auto attack on the death. <laughs> that's what killed me. Did we do it? Wolf Puncher 2! It counted! Nice. Master combat task. Grandmaster. Oh, that's a... Oh, man, I can't believe that was Grandmaster. That is not a very difficult Grandmaster task. 1 HP. That was cutting it kind of close for that task. I got two! What was the other one? Oh, oh, Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran, that's what it is, 5kc. That one was hard. That one was so much harder than the Grandmaster one. Well, that one was a bit interesting. Final Hunlift time, seven minutes, because I ran out of time and had to do that with an attuned weapon and a basic weapon. Oh! Crystal Weapon Seed. Dang it! That's the wrong one. Well, we got something at a uh, 9kc. I think that's that's the bad one. You want the armor ones. Oh, I see. So this just basically makes the original crystal equipment. I was confused because I figured this would already be in my collection log, but I guess it was just too long ago because I remember getting a bunch of these from Zora. Although Jagex did revamp the way crystal equipment works, so the item idea is probably completely different anyway. And that is going to be 10kc, which is another combat task. Can we get back to back? For a favor? No. I'm sad, man. That's the KC goal I had for the hardcore, but it is no more. It really is a shame that it happened so early. That really was kind of just written in the stars for me to get comboed like that. A little bit unlucky with the auto attacks, but all in all, I have been very lucky when it comes to surviving situations similar to that. So yeah, my luck ran out. Uh, if only I didn't take a 45 and a 35, it, things could have been different, but yeah, I'm, I'm still having fun with this. Definitely a lot less anxiety not being a hardcore, but I liked the rush. I was really enjoying that, so I'm sad that it had to end prematurely. First, blue scroll with the gray helm. Will it be good? Oh, it is good. We got a steel dragon mask. We got a unique from an elite clue. That's unheard of. Huh, off to a good start on the gray helm. He's dead. No, he's not. He's one HP. Now he's dead. How fast is that? Oh, I did it. 625. <laughs> I actually did it. I accidentally just got a good layout and went with it and we got it. That was so lucky. 625. We made it by five seconds. I thought I was going to squander that chance because I forgot to use my teleport crystal and I ran back to the center room. But it didn't matter. We still got it. Oh, no! Oh, are you kidding me? Another crystal weapon seed. And there we have the no potion combat achievement completed. That one wasn't too bad. Took one try. Hey, there it is. Perfect corrupted hunt lift. That one took quite a while. I mean, I assumed I'd get it passively before 50, and we did. Only one I've got left to do is just the 50 kills, so we're pretty much done. And there's the third crystal weapon seed inside 50 KC. This is getting a little bit dire, I'm not gonna lie. That is the last combat achievement for Corrupted Gauntlet. The only thing that remains for the gauntlet in entirety is to do the speed run for the normal gauntlet. I gotta do like a sub four minute speed run, which might be challenging. I bet it will be more challenging than the Corrupted one. I got lucky with that one. Well, it kind of got screwed at the end there with the RNG, but yeah, that would have been it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that sucks. I hit like five zeros at the end. That would have gotten me it. I was so close there. There's no way. That felt so fast. No! 404. Oh, I don't know where I lost time. That felt pretty good. Let's see. Let's look at the times. 153, 210. Okay, so the prep was fine. Sub two minute prep is what you need. I guess the kill was just too slow. It felt pretty good. Oh, well. Is that it? Please, please, please. This task has been a nightmare. Yes, we did it! Oh, my four seconds. Oh, that one was hard. That one was so much harder than any of the other ones. You need so much RNG. Just everything needs to go right. You need to get, like, weapon frame early. You gotta get something other than a bear. That was the biggest issue. I was getting a bear, like, more than 50% of the time. I don't know what was up with that. The 
Callisto Bears would not leave me alone, and I had to reset a bunch, but we finally did it. The last gauntlet task is complete. Last elite clue, I got something good. Can we make it back to back? Well, sort of. I mean, a master clue, and master clues are actually a very high completion rate now, because we can do everything in the wilderness without any stress. And there it is. That took like four three-steppers. That was quite a long master clue. I hope it's worth it. It is very much not. Yeah, that one looks pitiful. <laughs> That's not very good. Another elite, not long after. Let's see if this one's any better. Oh, no, I already have those. Darn it, I wish they were the tights. Uh, that's the first dupe from the Ranger set, so can't be too upset, but only thing I'm missing is the tights, so maybe I'll get those one day. Oh, my gosh. Oh! This is quite the predicament. This is... I am just in a serious bind right here. What is that? 93 kills, and I've got four of these and nothing else. Yikes. Elite Clue, what's it gonna be? Ooh what I get? Dragon Cane? That's the second time I've gotten that item. That was actually one of my first ever items from an Elite Clue, way before the collection log. That's kind of cool. I got it back. It's on my log now. Let's go. Also got a Master Clue, so we'll give this an attempt. Ooh. Okay, so hardcore, this would be an instant drop, but we can rethink this. Oh, I do need a Brine Saber. Oh, man. Maybe I should just grind that out. No. Well, I guess I have no excuse not to. Here's what the cane looks like, by the way. It is quite ludicrous looking. It's so silly. It's just so, like, over the top. Oh, max hit 23. This account historically sucks at getting things under drop rate, but that is all going to change with this Brine Saber. I'm gonna get spooned. I guarantee it. Also, evidently, I do not know where Brine Rats are. I, for some reason, was wandering this way. I think my brain was trying to take me to the cave where you fight that bear thing during the Mountain Daughter quest. I don't know why. I cannot explain these things. But I'm pretty sure you just have to dig next to this tree up here. And I need a spade. Oh, yes, we got it, nice. Okay, well, I was wrong about being spooned, but we did get it before drop rate, so that's good. I guess that counts as a spoon. I don't know, it depends on your definition of what being spooned is. Is it like getting it within like 25% of the drop rate or like half? I got it at 310, so yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, that's a nice surprise. This clue didn't have many steps, but it did take a lot of effort. I had to get the Brine Saber and I had to do some three-steppers, including the Dragon's Eye, so is it worth it? No, it was not, but whatever. And there she is, 100 kill count at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Last chance to get a useful crystal and we have failed so yeah I, I thought i was supposed to get better rng you know after dying in a hardcore it seems like a lot of people get spooned immediately after losing their status but so far that hasn't been the case four of the wrong type of shard and none of the good ones unfortunately but i'm having fun with this i definitely enjoy cg um at this point though that is going to be the end of the video my goal was to get to 100 kc post uh, losing the hardcore status and we have achieved that so uh yeah that's going to be the end for me the final episode of the hardcore Iron Man on this account. You may notice though on the video there's still a few minutes left. That is because we are now going to enter a stage of the video where I ramble for several minutes. So if you're not interested in that, I do not hold it against you if you want to leave. I will not blame anyone. But if you are curious about my final thoughts as well as the future plans on this account and this YouTube channel, then feel free to stick around. Sometimes for intros and outros I write somewhat of a script. Uh, this time I didn't do that. I did write a couple bullet points to stay on top of things and try to touch bases on all the points that I wanted to discuss. I'll try to be as brief as I can, but yeah, this will be somewhat rambly. The first point though that I wanted to discuss was the death analysis one more time. Ultimately, my death resulted from me making three somewhat small mistakes that accumulated into one large blunder. Mistake number one was getting distracted by the tornadoes and missing a prayer flick. Mistake number two was me being too casual when putting the correct prayer on and being one tick too slow and taking another hit for a 45. Mistake number three, pretty simple, I just misclicked my paddlefish. And mistake number four was me clicking the tile next to me, resulting in me walking instead of running, ultimately allowing the tornadoes to catch up to me. Now was this all unlucky? I would say that the death was somewhat unfortunate. It is a shame that it unfolded the way that it did. Uh, most times in that situation, you wouldn't take that much damage, but it is what it is. I feel like I was really running on bot time. I can think of like four or five moments during my account's progression that absolutely should have stripped me of my status that did not. 
So, I don't know, maybe there was some divine intervention from the RuneScape gods or something that kept me alive. There was like two DCs resulting in Ring of Lifes. There was a moment at Vorkath where I misclicked and should have died, but my Ring of Life saved me there too. Cerberus, I got saved by the Ring of Life, and at Abyssal Sire, I just somehow miraculously survived after my client froze, despite me not drinking an anti-poison potion. So, there are some moments that are hard to describe that I don't understand how they wouldn't have taken me out, but... Yeah, I, I guess I just got lucky. I'm lucky to have gotten this far. I feel pretty thankful. Um, there was also a couple of times where I got really unlucky with RNG, which if you look at it optimistically, kind of glass half full, at least that delayed my demise and kept me alive longer. Uh, the moments that come to mind would be the Ranger Boot grind and the Dragon Pickaxe grind. If I had gotten lucky during those, then that would have just accelerated my progress towards endgame bossing and I probably would have fallen much sooner. So, you know, thinking optimistically, I'm lucky that I made it as far as I did. I am pretty happy with the piece of content that I died to. You know, Corrupted Gauntlet, you know, that's an admirable way to go. It wasn't a DC, and it wasn't something stupid like that time that I didn't realize I was attacking an Abyssal Demon Superior and it almost killed me. Uh, yeah, that's another moment that I'd rather not speak of. Uh, I just got lucky and noticed in time to put my prey back on, but there were some moments like that that would have been very unfortunate if I had fallen in that fashion, so yeah, Corrupted Gauntlet, not the worst way to go. I can be proud that I made the attempt at such a dangerous piece of content. Do I have any regrets? Um, not really. I mean, I guess you could say, like, well, do you regret not getting Tier 3 armor? And I would have to say yes, hesitantly. I suppose that would have been good to do. More practice can never hurt. I practiced a lot, but more, yeah, obviously isn't harmful. So ultimately, not that many regrets. I feel fairly content in the way that my account went out, other than the fact that it was so early. I would have preferred it happened at a later date with a much higher red number in the chat, but you can't really win them all. I'm honestly quite happy with my decision to attempt Corrupted Gauntlet. The game was really growing stale for me. I needed something to stimulate me a little bit more. I was tired of doing the same things over and over again, continuing to go dry at Chambers of Zarek and doing Slayer for the Imbued Hearts and just, you know, logging in and not having the motivation to do anything but like a farm run. It was just growing stale. I needed to start some new content, so no regrets in attempting to do something dangerous like CG. Some people in this situation would have compiled some sort of highlight montage. Um, I'm not going to be one of them because one, I'm lazy, two, I don't think anyone cares, and if you want to look at the highlights, you can just look at the previous videos. I guess top moments for me would be getting the Ranger Boots. I mean, that goes without really saying. Uh, getting the Hydra's Call at 12kc, that was pretty cool. Uh, there was that one week where I had broken a pretty big raised dry streak by getting like full Ancestral and a Dragon Hunter crossbow, and then I got like the Noon pet all within a few days apart. That was pretty cool. That's the best RNG I think I've ever had, so that was fun. And uh, yeah, getting the Dragon Pickaxe recently, that was pretty good. Um, that's, yeah, that's about all I can think of. Everything else was, uh, you know, pretty uh, average standard Iron Man things. This was pretty much the first account that I've ever achieved uh, endgame content on, so pretty much everything was new for me, and I'm really happy to have experienced a lot of that stuff. And finally, at long last, I'm sure some people are so relieved, and they're like, oh my god, this guy needs to shut up, just get to the end where you discuss the future plans on this account and channel. So, the plans are kind of undefined at this moment. I'm not sure what I want to do, so I think I might start a poll to let you guys decide. Should I continue on this account, go for combat achievements, try to get better gear, do some like speed runs, things like that? Or should I pursue a different account? I can always start another hardcore. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, just go ahead and vote in the poll that I will eventually be releasing not too long after this video goes live. Ramble complete. I hate doing these. I'm, I feel like I'm very bad at getting straight to the point. Some people are much better than me at rambling. But that's it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys ever so much for following this account's progression for the last five years. It means a lot, so thank you. And for the final time, take care. Hello, and welcome to the beginning of my Hardcore Iron Man progress. This is actually round two of my hardcore experience. On my first hardcore, I had a lot of fun, but unfortunately all of that was short-lived thanks to a DC while training Slayer at Fire Giants. I wasn't very motivated to begin another account from scratch, but people in my CC were encouraging me to make a new account, and that gave me more motivation for starting over. I figured that this time I would try recording my progress on this account, just as a way to make my time a little bit more worthwhile and interesting. So I guess we'll see where this develops and hopefully it becomes a long and prosperous series.